Thanks for that. Uh, I'm just wondering if there was any discussion about supporting the black class action lawsuit. As you all know, uh, federal employees are hoping to take the federal government to court to sue them for systemic discrimination, also, of course, for career stagnation and a number of other issues. Was there any discussion about that? Well, it, it, it was raised, um, but I think there was a consensus that, you know, our, our goal here was to, to build, um, build on issues that were uh, shared right across different levels of government. Uh, of course, that's an important issue, but it's an ongoing, you know, it's an ongoing uh, legal process, and, um, uh, but it was, it was brought up as an issue. Uh, you know, there are many people who are concerned about the outcome of that, and, uh, uh, but at this stage, it didn't, uh, it didn't find itself into this statement uh, because the issues that are, are, are spoken on here are very broad-based issues and not very specific, uh, like this, uh, this particular item, but it was raised. I would also I'd like to add, because it's in the courts, we, we do not want to continue and, and have discussed any further because of the legal matters, matters with it. Um, but we did talk about economic development, and we did talk about job opportunities and, and looking at the various sectors that we are seeing uh, where black people are underrepresented and how we can work together collectively to ensure that black people have opportunities in these underrepresented sectors like the trades, like tech, and uh, what we can be doing to encourage um, economic development in our communities. Uh, may I just politely push back on that? It is before the courts, yes. It hasn't been certified, but that hasn't stopped parties like the NDP, its leader Jagmeet Singh, um, uh, MP Green from endorsing it. Uh, it hasn't stopped the former Governor Gen General, Mikhail Jean, uh, and a number of unions. And it could be argued that, you know, the federal government sets the tone. And so if this lawsuit is certified and goes through, it would filter down to other levels of government. So can I just ask maybe each one of you whether or not you support the lawsuit? Maybe starting with uh, the uh, member from Manitoba. Can I jump in for a second? If you don't mind, I apologize. But, you know, there were, there were many, many issues that came up. And we have very broad perspectives on so many different issues. You know, we're, we're right from across the country, from different levels of government. So to take one specific issue and ask people to comment on those issues, it goes, it's counter to what we were trying to achieve here. We were trying to pull people together to build on issues that actually bring us together without a question, not to, uh, to take specific issues and look for ways to, to find differences. If you want to ask anyone, uh, you know, uh, that question, that's your right as a reporter and anyone can answer. But, you know, there were federal members uh, in the discussion too. It is before the courts. And, uh, you know, it just, it just wasn't an issue that um, you could build full consensus on in a, in a way that could be captured in a document like this. So, you know, respectfully, I think uh, you can do that with almost any issue. Uh, but I think the positive piece here, and I think uh, you can understand this, is, is really paying attention to what we agree on and how we can actually collaborate on that and build from it. Because w there are many differences. Just because we're black doesn't mean we agree on things uh, wholeheartedly. You know, there's some real diversity among this group. And I'll tell you, there were times even during our discussions where we're like, is this going to, are we going to actually like get to an end point? Um, so I think you should keep that as a consideration. Yeah. But go ahead, ask whatever you want. You know, you're the reporter. I, I will just address this because it did come up uh, about black employees, about systemic barrier, barriers, about underrepresentation, especially in C-suite roles and um, managerial roles. Uh, I will say this, uh, you know, and I think, you know, we agreed on this. We see, we hear, we understand the plight of black employees across this country. And um, we recognize that there has been uh, systemic barriers, racism, anti-black racism within various employment sectors, not just within government. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming collectively, uh, we didn't have the time to discuss that. I think that would be a whole three-day conference on its own, plus. Um, <laughs> but recognizing that um, you know, there is representatives in parliament in elected official roles and we understand and we know and, and for some of us we're actually navigating the same things they are. Thank you. 
And in our statement, it says we're working collectively with distinction to committing to acknowledging anti-black racism and combating systemic racism. So it's there. Um, I agree with my colleague, Mr. Koto, that, you know, pointing to one specific issue when we as a community, as a collective, have a whole host of issues that we're trying to combat. I, I, I appreciate the, the question in the comments, but um, this is not the time for it at this moment because it's in our statement.